I had one very upset Ola on my hands last night. And whose fault is that? Not mine. I don't want you to go to Hamilton. What choices do I have, Maxwell? You're not willing to make any compromises. You're not even willing to see my point of view. Look, I can see it. I mean, you've got this thing in your head about Sarah. You think she's got it in for you, oh, which she has. But if you wanted to get away from her, there are other hospitals around here. I mean, central for a start. I've tried everywhere. Anyway, it's beyond work now. Look, you can't seriously think she's trying to turn all her against you. <laughs> it's not just Sarah that's the problem. You made it very clear you want nothing to do with me. So why should I hang around here doing temp work when there's a permanent position waiting for me in Hamilton? I can make a fresh start. What about Ola? She doesn't want to go. She's asked if she can stay with me. I hope you said no. Of course I did. She was hurt and wanted me to talk to you, to beg you not to make her leave. She's 14. She makes a drama out of everything. Russell, please. We'll be an hour away. Okay, you can see her every second weekend and school holidays negotiable. There's a damn sight more than you've had in the past. Well, I didn't know what I was missing then. Look, is there anything that'll make you stay? Sure. A brilliant job offer. Nursing manager, charge nurse, like that's gonna happen. One, you have to work together. Two, tension and conflict make for a toxic working environment, especially in the confines of the operating theatre. So, we need to get to the bottom of what is eating you two, for everyone's sake. Why don't you start? All right. I've been around long enough to know that being a surgeon requires a certain degree of ego. But when that ego gets out of control, when self-discipline and caution fly out the window, then the patient... Hang on. I've never... Isaac, patient... just wait. He's doing what he always does. He's trying to undermine me. Isaac is a registrar. He hasn't even sat his part twos yet. He has a lot to learn. But yet he doesn't seem to realise it. He refuses to listen to advice. He's flippant, gung-ho. He shows absolutely no respect for my seniority or experience. Every time I go into theatre with him, I feel like I'm in for a fight, and I can't work like that. I won't. Thanks, Luke. Isaac? He talks about respect. He's made it very clear he has no respect for me at all. Every decision I make, he questions it. The smallest problem arises, he wants me to call for help. I can't do my job without him constantly second-guessing me. You can imagine how that's affecting the rest of the team. It's impossible. Okay, you've both soundly criticised each other. Now, I want you to take a moment and think and tell me one positive thing about the other person. Just one. Hey, wait up. No time, I'm looking for Evan. Once again, I promise I won't try and kiss you. Good to know. Actually, soon you won't have to worry about me at all. Why is that? We're shifting into Hamilton. Mum got a new job there. Make sure you text me sometime. Cool. I saw Evan yesterday, after that fight with Kurt and Blaine. So? You know that stuff they were saying about you? It's crap. I can't believe Evan took it seriously. I can't believe he spread it. What? So you're not really gay? No. If I was, you'd know. So whatever he's been saying to you... He hasn't. I said it. I told everyone. I'm sorry. It's because of when I kissed you, you brushed me off and everyone started hassling me and calling me names. So you told them I was gay? I didn't mean to. It just came out. I'm really sorry. The reason I didn't kiss you back is because I thought we were friends. Real friends. And I messed it up big time. Yeah, you have. I'm not used to being talked about. I hate it. I'll make it right. I'll tell everyone it was a mistake. I'll tell them I said it. No, don't say anything. Don't mention my name, OK? You're... Arrogance sickens me, Worthington. My arrogance. You're the one who wants to call all the shots, but you know what I think? I think you're losing your nerve. I th I'm not listening to this. Luke, don't walk out. I'm sorry, but he's wasting my time. Told you he's impossible. Let him go and leave like he wants to, preferably long term. That didn't go so well, huh? They're like children. They're worse than children. They are grown men. They're doctors. They should know better. So what's the answer? You can't roster them on together. They're impossible to work with. No one wants to be on their team. I'm damned if I'm admitting defeat. This hospital needs Luke and Isaac, and they need each other. There must be a way to sort this.
Selena. How's my favorite nursing manager? <laughs> oh, come on, cuz. Look, if Central needed me, I'd be happy to jump ship just for the chance to work with you. You know that. <laughs> um, actually, there was something I wanted to ask about your charge nurse situation. I have to keep working with Derville, I will, but don't expect me to like or respect him because I can't. He feels the same way, and you know very well you can't work together under those conditions. It's too hard for everyone, the patients included. You're the boss. It's up to you to work the roster. Or send you on a very lengthy conflict resolution course. No way. I'm not doing cushion-hugging role-play for anyone. You'll do as you're told or you'll lose your job. I'm in the middle of study. My exams are in a month. I need all the practical experience I can get. Spending valuable hours stuck in the room with Luke Derville is ridiculous. Hey, mate, we'll get up for the orienteering. No, I'm not going anymore. Why not? And this guy, Tim, was meant to be my partner, but he reckons he's sick in bed. You find someone else? No, I tried. No takers. I believe I have the perfect partner for you. Me? Why not? Give you a chance to sharpen up those woefully blunt teamwork skills. What do you reckon? That'd be really cool. Thanks. I'm warning you. I was born without a sense of direction. That's sweet. I'll navigate. You carry the stuff. <laughs> that sounds like a plan. Well, you two get geared up. We'll head off in ten minutes. That's Chris Warner here. Is Nicole there, please? Nicole, hi. Um, I think I may have an answer to the conflict problem, but I'm going to need your help. I've been offered a job at Central. Really? A good one? Uh, shift coordinator, surgical. Which is weird, since when I found out the other day, uh, they said there was no work available. Well, I suppose something must have come up. Or someone's been pulling strings. Isn't the nursing manager over there some relative of yours? Well, now that you've mentioned it, yeah, what a coincidence, eh? Selena phoned me herself, Maxwell. Uh, she sends her regards and is looking forward to that flash dinner you owe her. <laughs> I guess it would be a whole lot simpler if I canned Hamilton and took this job. There's no big move, no change of school, someone to give you breaks from that stroppy teenager of yours. Yeah, well, it's all roses the way you tell it. Well, why shouldn't it be? Look, you and me and Sarah all want the same thing, for all that to be happy. And if you stick around, I'll make it work for everyone, yeah? We can give it a try. <laughs> 